Hi, I'm Brian, a Pardot and Salesforce consultant with Rotive. In this video, I'm gonna talk about products and price books. So products, price books, and price book entries are a point of confusion for a lot of people that are new to Salesforce. Let's start by bringing up a list of products. That's where it starts simple and it gets complicated from there. So if you click on the app launcher in the upper left-hand corner and you click view all, you can see a list of all of the possible items, or we could just search for products. Bringing up the products tab, we get a list of products within the system. Now, if you create a new product here, or if we click into body milk, you'll notice you can add a name, you can give the product a product family, you can mark it as active, but there's no place here to set the price. And that's because this list of products does not include the price. The price is in a separate object that's related to the product. Now that's a point of confusion because you'd think that when you set up the product, you should be able to set the price right there. The reason why prices are separate from products is because it enables you to create multiple price books. That way you can have multiple prices for just one product. Example of why you might wanna do this is if you have different regions that you're operating in or different markets that you're working in. So for example, you might be selling a software product and perhaps you sell it to the private sector at one price, but you have a discount for the public sector or maybe a different pricing for you know, the education community rather than for private business. If we only have the one price book, then we can only have the one set of prices. Let me click on related over here. You can see that related to the product, we have two different price books and two different prices for those price books. Of course, in this case, the prices are the same. Another use case for price books would be a different regions around the world, right? Maybe your Canadian pricing is different than your United States pricing, that sort of thing. So even if you are only gonna have one set of prices, you still need to use the price book entry objects within Salesforce. So I'm gonna click through into one of these price books, just the standard one, and show you here, we just have a few details about this price book. If you click related, you can see all the price book entries. And so it's the price book entry that actually has the price. So imagine you've got your price book record called standard pricing or American pricing. Then you have your price book entry record and then you have your product record. And it's that price book entry record that connects the product to the price book and also sets the price. One thing about price books is you can only have one per opportunity. So if you can think of a situation where you'd want to potentially have multiple price books on an op, you can't do that. So when you're setting this up, think about use cases where you're only gonna need one price book for that opportunity, right? If, if it's a European opportunity, we have the European price book. If it's an American opportunity, we have the American price book. There's no mixing and matching within one opportunity record. So I'm gonna go back to our product records. Let's look at another product here. And so when you wanna add a price, you can click add to price book here on the right. In this case, we have two price book entries for this one product. Let's say we wanted to add a third, click that in the upper right, and then you can choose from any available price book. You can also set the currency if you have multiple currencies. But let's say we wanted to edit the price book entry. Let's say the standard price shouldn't be 100,000, it should be 150,000. You can click edit on that record and we can easily fill that out. So when you're first getting started, thing is to remember, once you create the product, you need to take that extra step of also adding a price book entry for that record. Once you have both pieces and they're active, then those products will show up in your opportunities and be available for use. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.